Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. I'd like to continue with the discussion we began last week with talking about spiraling jinn, that is the expression of spiraling energy, spiraling the in, uh, in through the body and, and to its use in Taiji Chuan, particularly. And it goes beyond that, but that's our, our primary focus here. So the, you know, just to recapitulate a bit, the idea of the spiral is sort of a fundamental concept that some say it's, it's like the primary shape of everything in the universe. That is something is always moving and a spiral is, is, is circling around, but moving in a particular direction. So you can think of it as like, a, you know, a circle that is moving, you know, in space and time. So um, it also can be expanding or contracting. So you get the idea of screwing with like a screw tends to be kind of moving more toward a point. And, and when you take a spiral and then you direct it in that way, then the, the energy goes into, kind of drives in kind of like a, um, the way a bullet is, uh, is, is circling, it's spiraling as it is moving forward. And that way it kind of drills into the, uh, into its target. But the, in terms of, of the energy, we can take it very big and have it very expanded, or we can make it very small and, and very directed. The energy, the spiral can also go the opposite direction. It can open up. They can start small and get bigger, 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 bigger. And then you create you know, a different effect, an, an expansive effect whenever you go that direction. But the primary thing is to be able to find a way to feel it in your body as your first order of business. And then you make it smaller, smaller, smaller in terms of its physical expression so that you're able to take the insubstantial aspect of that motion and make that become the primary focus. Whenever you, whenever you do that, you're still able to express the, the jinn, the, the energy part of the jinn, the insubstantial part, and, but it's able to create a profound effect in, uh, in, in, in the target where um, uh, beyond the physical expression of, of the thing. So, you know, last week we, you know, we, we, we worked at it with, with taking a big circle and kind of getting, creating a big spiral, a bigger, big spiral, and then making it smaller, 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 till a point where the movements were themselves kind of insignificant or, or even invisible. And, but the in mind intent behind that which is creating that pattern, that insubstantial energy pattern, it gets, it gets turned up to 11. And consequently, you're able to create a profound effect with very little physical motion. And that's, um, you know, that is the direction that Gong Fu is taking us. It, it's taking us away from, from big and flamboyant to smaller, 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 more hidden in the uh, as we develop our skills so that we're able to do things which the casual eye would just see as magical or superhuman when actually they're just things that we just practiced and made more more uh, uh, hidden by by creating that 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 narrowed focus is very much like you know a, a magician will you know, practice something, you know, for, you know, just shuffling a deck of cards, say, for 10 years in order to actually learn how to do it properly. And so, so that it, he's able to do things, very complex act, actions with right in front of you, and you're not able to see them because it's so, so subtle in its, uh, in its expression. So it's it, there, there are parallels to what we're talking about there with kung fu, and the where 
gets very interesting is that as we get more and more uh, aware of that insubstantial aspect, it opens up, opens us up to perceptions, uh, awarenesses, and abilities which would be, you know, considered superhuman or spiritual. That is, we're able to move beyond the narrow address of our conscious mind and our five senses and move out into the woo-woo place, the place where, where we're not able to easily identify the stuff of that of that sphere, but we're able to to negotiate it. We're able to resonate it in a way that that allows us to do cool stuff, and we're all about being able to do that. So the uh, uh, and with that comes uh, you know like an expanded awareness, and then you're able to to move in more and more into the present moment as you become more comfortable with these aspects of your being. These these abilities that we're, we're trying to cultivate through our Taiji trend. So the spiral, you know, if we think of it as, as a circle that is moving, then we have to think of it in terms of with reference to what? Any motion is only meaningful if we're thinking of it in terms with reference to what? You know, we have to say uh, with reference, like say if I'm, spiraling my arm forward like this, if I'm going boom like that, it's with reference to my torso. My arm is moving out with reference to my torso. And when I think of that, oh, okay, that's that's where by having my torso as being the 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 yin pole, that is the the established pole, then I can have the yang pole, that arm extending outward, and those poles in opposition is what generates the energy. Same thing if I'm, if I'm, let's say I'm standing up and I'm using the spiral to create this sun qua. The if I spiral down and I'm screwing down into the earth, I'm circling like this, but I'm also going down the, the is going, even if I, if I do it, I get, you know, get subtler and subtler with that movement, it, the spiral down becomes less and less physical, so that, oh, it just, it just happened, it, it's something that is very, uh, it's almost un, unapparent to the, the casual observer that, that I have spiraled down into my Qua as I'm doing that, and so we're, we're working. But again, we're establishing what we're we've got with reference to what the qua is with reference to the earth and the sky. We're we're creating these these poles in opposition, and the spiral is moving the energy around that. And so we're we're then able to open up to the big G by by creating this this spiral and it moves through the body and we're able to then do cool things with it. We're able to generate energy with that. So, um, you know, that idea of, of holding poles in opposition, that is, you are using your mind, your consciousness, your awareness to, to say this, and that we're establishing points. And with that, then there is an intent behind it to either pull them apart or push them together, or, or one goes up, one goes down, something like that. There's some motion that is, that is considered with that. There's, there's a, a um, we are, using the consciousness to, to create a, like stretching a rubber band, say, you know, we got, we're pulling that apart. So these, the poles here, one hand and the other hand, and, and that is the action that's happening there in between is creating that energy. With the, with the spiral, we're doing the same thing. We're creating, we're creating energy by, 
oh, we're feeling into, let's say with the qua, we're feeling into the, the, the foot and the way it contacts the earth. And we're reaching with the crown of the head. And so we have these two poles in opposition. We say, okay, now what we're going to do with that, we're going to, we're going to make a circle with it and have that circle going down into the earth. And then we can take it and reverse that and have it come up and, and go the other way. And each time we do that, we are generating chi. And we are creating something where that where nothing was there before. So um, I kind of takes us that brings us up to the present moment. Any questions or thoughts? You've had a chance to to play around with the uh, the spiral stuff uh, for a week now, but that that's a real broad overview. Any uh, any thoughts on that? Anybody before we uh, go forward? Nope. Good. 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 We're okay. Great. Let's move forward then. So let's uh, let's do some uh, some stuff with that. Let's. Uh, uh, create some uh, some movements that use some of these ideas and uh, and create some some new patterns with that so once you stand up Let's start with our three pillars. This establishes the body mind as our frame of reference. Feel the balls of your feet and unlock your knees, set the knees and reach with the crown of the head. Feel yourself sinking down into the earth, relaxing. At the same time, reaching up with the crown of the head and tucking in the chin. Doing so lengthens the spine. It opens the space between the vertebrae, opens the, the neck. And relax your lower back and allow your pelvic bowl to the level out. This enables you to better use your hip joints, release the at least uh, any tension in the hip joints. By reaching with the crown of the head and tucking in the chin, we're opening the jade pillow gate. And you want to Feel the, feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee in and spiral down into the left leg. So you're just releasing down, you're circling, turning, turning the body, but also kind of dropping down into it. And then feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee and spiral down to the, to the right. And so you're feeling yourself spiraling down. So, and then back to center. So you feel the, the release at the, at the hip joints, allowing for the energy to flow more freely through the through the pelvic area. Feel your fingers, feel the fingernails and just kind of reach with that and just kind of as if like you're you have cat's claws and you're kind of grabbing with the fingernails. And feel your particularly your index fingers. And feel the chi that the the wood chi that runs through your hands and your and throughout your body as a result of that. Reach with the elbows a little bit, open those shoulders. Good, so
let's first establish some poles in opposition, just feeling that energy. So rotate your forms, feel your fingernails, your wrists, reach with your elbows and carry. Feel yourself carrying the something there, the energy, the space, feel that. Relax your arms and just feel, allow yourself to use the least amount of effort. And rotate the palms, the forearms, palms down and sink, reach down with your elbows, push down with your, reach down with your wrists, your hands. Rotate and carry. Feel yourself sinking into your feet as you reach out with your hands. Very gently push away with your hands, reaching out with your hands. At the same time, pull back a little bit with your body. You just feel those oppositions there. Your hands are reaching out. Your body is reaching back. You pull in with your hands. Your body comes forward slightly. It's like you're squishing the space between your hands and your, your body. your torso, reach out again, push, expand, open. So you're stretching that space as your body, get, your torso goes back. Feel the opposition there. Bring the hands in as your body comes forward. Now press down with the hands as though you're squeezing the space as your body comes up, your torso rises as your hands press down. Rotate the palms and lift with the hands. You're reaching up and sinking with the body. Rotate, press down as the body comes up. Feel those poles in opposition. Feel the chi that you're being that's being generated in your body as you do this, particularly in your hands. Rotate, palms come up, body sinks. Now reach out with the hands as your, body, your torso pulls back, moves away. Press down with the hands as your body comes up. Sink, body sinks as the hands rise. Feel them carrying the chi. Reach forward as your body retreats. 
Feel that stretching the space. Just down as your body rises. Sink as your hands come up. Uh, press down with your hands as your body rises. Rotate and reach out as your body pulls back. And pull in as your body comes forward. Press down as your body rises. Sink as the hands come up. Pull back as your arms reach out. Body comes forward as your hands come back. And press down, body rises. And just pause for a moment and feel into your hands, feel into your feet, feel the chi that's being generated. These poles in opposition. Now let's add the legs into this and feel into the um. Actually, let's, let's take it so your sink as your hands come up. And then separate. So here we're the poles in opposition, the two hands are separating. Reach out, feel extending. Feel that the energy that's getting created by stretching between those two poles. Now let's add the legs into it. So you wanna feel, we're gonna create a spiral now. You can feel the ball of the foot and set the knee. Uh, the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, and you're going to spiral down to the left. And as you do that, the arm circles around, the whole body circles around. Sink into that right leg, rotate your right palm up. You see, we've got a, a spiral happening here. And then turn and rotate the other way. Feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Reach with the elbow, the left arm. Feel those poles in opposition. You're reaching still with the right hand. And we're going to spiral up with the left hand and turn and rotate. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral left, rotate and turn and rotate. So here we have 
The right hand is the, the yang hand. It's the one that's extending out where the left hand is the yin hand. And we rotate left legs, set the left knee spiral down to the right, left elbow, left wrist, rotate and turn. View that separation there. Continue. We're creating this spiral that's coming up from the foot to the knee, to the hip, turning and rotating. And bring that spiral in a little bigger and it's coming in and expanding and opening. Right leg and turn and spiral. And so we're creating these spirals with these poles in opposition. Uh, and hold that. Hands come down. Just feel into what's going on in your body. Feel the the chi as we've amplified it. So holding the poles in opposition takes it to one level and then creating the spirals amplifies that. Now we're going to take that even further. Hands come up, sink as your hands rise. And let's see, hands, bring both hands to your left side. Your weight is in your, in your right leg. And as you sink, into your left leg, spiral in and reach out your hand and um, actually let's start this over again. So we're going to, going to turn the body to the left, sink into the left leg, turn the body to the left as the arms go to the right. Feel that. And then sink into your right leg as the arms go to the left. And sink into your left leg as your arms go to the right. And hands come down and then up and then sink into your right leg as the hands go to the left. And hands go to the right. And now the right hand comes under the left and sink into your right leg as the hand as the right hand reaches to the left. And then as you're turning to the left, your arm goes to the right, sinking into your left leg, and then into your right leg, reaching turning to the right as your hand goes to the left, turning to the left as your hand goes to the right. 
Hand goes to the left, body goes to the right. Body goes left, hand goes right. Body goes right, hand goes left. Just pause right there, just feel that pull there. Body turns, body turns to the left as your hand very slowly, feel that reaching out, feel the hand separating. And then sink into the right leg and goes to the left. Turn and reach. And goes left, torso goes to the right. So notice what we're having here is this, we're creating this spiral within a spiral. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. So the left hand reaches under as the body turn, the left hand reaches to the right as your body turns to the left. And then the left hand goes to the left as the body turns to the right. Left hand to the right, body left. Left hand left, body right. Left hand to the right, body turns to the left. Left hand left, body right. So what's happening here with the with the legs, with the quads, we're, we're spiraling down. And as this as this left hand goes this way, goes this way, body goes that way. So we're creating this spiraling energy, which goes like, like that. And it is able to create a tremendous amount of chi, but more importantly, it's a, a very specific type of jin, that is chi expressed through the body. So step in and deep breath and disappear the chi. Take a seat, please. How'd that go? Um, what happened, Scott? <laughs> um, well, that's kind of like trying to, you know, rub your stomach and pat your head at the same time. And by the time I was starting to get it, you stopped. <laughs> uh, I mean, I got, I got some energy. I definitely got energy out of the whole thing, but you know, the whole, the movements I was having a hard time with. Uh, good. <laughs> Cause yeah, <laughs> that means it's working. <laughs> it uh, it's repatterning your brain by doing that. So it's it's actually going in there and it's blasting away at you know some fixed relationships we have. This is is a very difficult transition because it is it's not something you ever do. But that's what makes it that's what makes it interesting, and it also is what makes it expansive as in terms of ability and awareness you're learning 
to do something different and you're creating these new neural connections as you're doing it. Yeah, that's that that's the interesting thing is that you know when I was turning right, you know, I'm turning my waist to the right. Well, normally in Tai Chi, right, you tell your hands follow your waist. So yeah, that's where I was uh right. So it know. busts up it busts up that particular idea, which is still a valid idea, but what this does is it cranks up the energy to 11 whenever whenever you uh whenever you add that extra spiral to it and so it kind of creates this very powerful uh, uh field that you can then harness for um, you know for application well it, it also goes to your theory of do something weird every day <laughs> it does it does that yes Yes. Yeah. So it's something that, you know, it, you do get more familiar with that pattern, the more you do it. Just the idea of moving the opposite of the way you've ever done it. And then, then you have to learn something else to do something weird. <laughs> <laughs> the first, it was interesting though, the first exercise when we were done, it felt like you ever see anybody with like a hundred hula hoops, you know, on their arm. That's what it felt. That's what my body felt like. It's like everything was doing that everywhere. It was really weird. No, it, it, felt, it was cool. It felt like a plug being pulled in the bathtub and the water, you know, how it spirals down. Um, I mean, I wasn't necessarily feeling so much draining as that spiral moving more downward. That was more pronounced. I could get that on the upper, I could feel a spiral, but it wasn't as defined as the lower part. Cool. Cool. So uh, uh, anybody else, any other uh, thoughts on that? Cool. Um, went okay for you, Rick? Yeah. I'm not on mute, Rick, I'm not on mute. Um, it was, at the beginning, it was just uh, chiatopia. I mean, <laughs> just pouring out of me. Again, my, my feet anchored more solidly. Uh, I don't know if you saw me at the very end when you were fitting up, I literally had to unstick my feet from the floor. I was, mm. I was sinking into the sand more than I've, I have in a couple of weeks, but by the end of it, I just, you know, when you started getting more and more complex, I retreated to my uh, musical theater experiences in college. And I just said, oh, this is Bob Fosse teaching me some choreography. And as soon as I did that, I stopped, I stopped following you and started mirroring you. Up until then, I was able to do you know, I was able to write left correctly. But by the time we got into the Fosse choreography, I just followed your motion. So I was mirroring you, which hopefully had a strong effect. It certainly felt like a very strong effect, but maybe not exactly the one you wanted. But I didn't care. I was having fun. And so did all the chi inside of me too, so. Great, good, beautiful, good. Cool. How about you, Jonathan? Uh, internet's a little wonky here, but um, like Scott, I it's sometimes very hard to follow. Um, it's a real challenge, which is so a lot of my energy is taken up with, okay, which is left, which is right, and even trying to focus. Okay, wait, that's his right arm. Okay, okay, I'm gonna just try to focus on the right arm. That that mostly helps, and then I don't have to think about what everything else is doing. If I'm just doing what the right is doing the others seem to fall in line but it's it's a challenge to uh, uh you know to mirror when everything's just the opposite um uh, but you know it's a funny thing about life right you look into the mirror and you see your face the way nobody else sees it left is on the right and right is on the left so i this whole inverted reality that i'm being challenged with i actually find interesting but but having said that I had more chief almost in the beginning when it was simple because I could follow everything you were doing. I think once my energy gets taken up, I've got to get better because these are 
complex movements. And I take your word, that's part of what you want us to do, shake it up, you know? So given that, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to do it with more gusto next time saying, okay. <laughs> I have a question. This is the challenge. Yeah, I have a question. Uh, so uh, both you and, and, and Rick talked about mirroring there. And um, uh, it, is that because the, the verbal instructions have, are, not, uh, as, are not adequate after a point? Or is it that they become uh, uh, tuned out? In my case, it's because you sped up. And I didn't want to be left behind. Also, you got a little, I really I got, uh, you started saying, you, and you do your arm, and then a little later you said your right arm. So I, during that, I was just sort of keeping everything equidistant right. until you, you made a choice. But yeah, but not wanting to be left behind, I stopped doing what you were doing and started mirroring you. In other words, when you said the right hand, I was doing my left. When you're doing the left hand, I was doing my right so I could follow your movements because you were speeding up. And I, but I was very adamant about keeping the spirals. Even if I was doing the opposite of what you were saying, I was still, if anybody's watching this, they would say, yeah, you're doing the exact same thing that Rick's doing. And I'm going, no, I'm not, I'm doing the opposite, but at the same time. So Great. like I said, I got some use out of it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that, I actually, uh, that's I mean, helpful. What Rick is saying is actually interesting. You know, that Master Lee guy I was studying with, he only taught, uh, he himself would say right, but he himself would move left. He, he'd become the mirror for them, which, but I hadn't even thought what Rick is saying. Actually, it's a great idea. I, I think it's not a bad idea, right? Because I don't think it really matters. Everything you're doing ultimately is symmetrical, right? I mean, we do it to left, we do it to the right. So if we were to mirror you, like he's saying, I mean, that is an option. Do you think not? Do you not think? Uh, I think you'll get a different result from the one I'm, I'm seeking, but I, I'm sure it'll be valid. We know the truth. And as soon as we catch up, we'll be able to do it. But until we catch up, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop and try to completely reposition myself, especially and, since I was getting the first, the first three quarters correct. The last quarter was, was a, was a, uh, was a, uh, out, a, a, a Barrett in Wonderland uh, situation. <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's do some. Thank you for the comments because that 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 helps me whenever I'm I'm because a lot of the stuff I'm just improvising as I'm going along here. So it, uh, it it's helpful to me to see how it's how it's reading. Um, let's do some more and uh, we'll take it slower and more. Uh, and smaller as we're doing it. So we get the, get the feeling of that. Okay, so let's. So. Carrie. And separate. Feel those poles in opposition. So let's start off by going in the same direction. So feel your right, sink into your right leg and spiral down to the left. And the hand goes in the same direction as the body. The body turns to the right and the hand turns to the right. Take into your left leg and spiral down to the right, left hand and the body turns. Take into the right leg and turn to the right. Take into the left leg and turn to the left. A little bit smaller in the right leg. And really just feel 
Take a moment and just feel into the, the poles in opposition there between your hands, between your hands and your feet. And feel that left leg spiraling and turning. Smaller. Right leg, a little smaller. Think of your left and left arm. You want to feel this continuous chi from the fingertips all the way through the torso, through the quad, through the leg, into the and, and through the feet and turn. Left hand, spiral down to the right and then turn to the left. A little smaller, right leg, right hand, turning right, left leg, left hand, turn. A little smaller, right leg, right hand. And just pause and feel into the energy potential that is being generated there. Left leg, left hand, spiral, turn. Even smaller, right leg, right hand, spiral. Left leg, left hand. Now just feel your body going into your right leg and spiraling with your left hand without actually moving. Just feel that energy potential. Do it on the left side. Feel the left leg, the left hand spiral. So we acclimate the body mind by doing it at very gross motions and then we make it smaller, smaller, and smaller till we focus more and more on the insubstantial, the energy part, and less on the, on the body part. Now feel them, you're spiraling back and forth between your hands, so feeling that connection with the feet. And the hands come down. Now feel that spiraling as though your body is in this position, but with your hands at your sides. Feel that, that energy moving through you in that spiraling fashion. Now, hands come up. We're going to make this a little simpler and just do that same exercise. Only this time, as instead of right leg turn right, right hand, right leg, left leg turn left, we're going to right hand spirals and we turn left as we do that.
left hand spirals, we turn right. Right hand spirals, turn left. Left hand spirals, turn right. Right hand spirals, turn left. Left hand spirals, turn right. Now make it smaller. Right hand spirals, turn left. Left hand spirals, turn right. Right hand spirals, even smaller, turn left. Left hand spirals, turn right. Even smaller, right hand spirals, turn left. Left hand spirals, turn right. Right hand spirals, turn left, even smaller. Left hand spirals, turn right. Now hold both in opposition and feel your right hand spiraling, body turning left. Left hand spiraling, body turning right without moving. Right hand spirals, turn left. Left hand spirals, turn right. Right hand spirals, turn left. Left hand spirals, turn right. And bring your arms down. Feel the right hand spiraling, turning body turning left. Feel the left hand spiraling, body turning right. Feel the right hand spiraling, body turning left. Feel the left hand spiraling. Now bring those all together and feel the potentiality of all of those, but not thinking about it, not having to actually delineate that. Just trust that in your super conscious state right now, that your body mind is able to keep track of all that as recreatable potentials of energy. And all that activity exists within you, but with zero manifestation. You're actually not physically doing it, but the energy potential exists. Very similar to way like a capacitor in a TV set holds electric charge. It's there, it exists, it's, it's holding that electric charge even if the TV is not on. It's what permits you to turn the TV on and comes on instantly because it doesn't have to build up the energy in the system. At least that's the way TVs used to work. I don't know if they still do. But uh, you, you don't need to, to crank it up. You don't need as much ramp up in order to make that happen. But just feel that energy that's, that's circulating throughout the whole system right now and make friends with it. Because now we're gonna step in and we're gonna throw it away. Deep breath.
and disappear the cheese. Okay, please have a seat. Was that a little better? It went from Cheetopia to Chi Mania. <laughs> Man, just like pumping, pumping, pumping. Awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. That was much better. Good, good. That, that's helpful to me, you know, to be able to communicate it. So thank you. Thank and you. I was busting at the seams to just start doing double hands and turning and swirling. And... <laughs> Yay! Yes! <laughs> I was thinking of what is that Indian god where one leg they're standing but one leg is bent really deeply and the other leg is crossed kind of in front of it, almost up on its thighs and its arms are out. I don't know if that's Ganesh or... I'm not well, I'm not sure you, I'll find but... a picture of it and I'll send it to you because <laughs> that's where I was. <laughs> Ganesh is the elephant guy. Yeah, <laughs> and I see the trunk or maybe it was the monkey. Maybe it was the monkey. <laughs> Cool, cool. Uh, any questions, thoughts? Uh, is that easier for you, Scott? Was that better? <laughs> okay. I, I just couldn't get it. I don't know. I mean, I got it, but I was, I don't know. I mean, I can follow your directions, but I don't know. I just, I don't know what it was. Cool. Was that, did you feel <laughs> an enhanced energy? From, oh yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm like really hot now. So, yeah. okay, okay. So, so, even if, even if you're not totally how to know how to build a toaster, you can still make toast. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Okay. Uh, great. Thank you all so much. It's been great. A lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thanks, Maria. Thank you, Thank you Maria. Maria.